And welcome back to Med School Radio. This is Simon here in Chicago, and we are going to record another USMLE review, just looking at some of the educational objectives, things you should pick up from the questions you see on some of the cue banks. So let's go ahead and read them. First, the spinal accessory nerve is vulnerable to injury in the posterior triangle of the neck. Injury results in weakness of the trapezius muscle, which presents with drooping of the shoulder, impaired abduction of the arm above 100 degrees and lateral displacement of the scapula. Okay, so moving on. Radial head subluxation, i.e. nurse's elbow, is the displacement of the annular ligament into the radiohumeral joint, classically resulting from sudden axial traction, for example, pulling, pulling on the arm of a child less than five. Although most patients do not have any obvious swelling or deformity, they avoid moving the arm due to pain and hold it with the elbow flexed and forearm pronated. That is radial head subluxation or nurse's elbow. The rotator cuff muscles, the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and the sub subscapularis all insert into the humeral head allowing them to stabilize the shoulder joint and move the arm at the shoulder an infraspinatus injury would result in shoulder pain and weak painful external rotation of the arm against resistance so remember the muscles of the rotator cuff supraspinatus infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. And the injury here, an infraspinatus injury, would give you a weak shoulder with pain and you wouldn't be able to rotate it externally. Okay, moving on. The mechanism of vancomycin resistance in organisms such as VRE is a substitution of D-lactate in the place of D-alanine during the process of peptidoglycan cell wall synthesis. This prevents the binding of vancomycin to its usual D-alanine binding site in the cell wall. That was the mechanism of vancomycin resistance. Crohn disease is characterized by patchy transmural inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. It can affect any part of the tract from the mouth to the anus. Complications include strictures due to bowel wall edema, fibrosis, and thickening of the muscularis mucosae, fistulas due to penetration of ulcers through the intestinal wall and abscesses. That was Crohn disease. BRAF or BRAF is a protein kinase involved in activation of signaling pathways for melanocyte proliferation. The BRAF V600E mutation is seen in 40 to 60% of patients with melanoma. That was BRAF. Chromalin and nedochromil are mast cell stabilizing agents that inhibit mast cell degranulation independent of the triggering stimulus. They are less effective than inhaled glucocorticoids. 
and are considered second-line treatments for allergic rhinitis and bronchial asthma. Minimal change disease is the most common childhood nephrotic syndrome. Increased glomerular capillary permeability causes massive protein, for example, albumin loss in the urine. Hypoalbuminemia reduces plasma oncotic pressure, which causes a sh fluid shift into the interstitial space, resulting in edema. Low oncotic pressure also triggers increased lipoprotein production in the liver, for example, hyperlipidemia. Okay, let's move on a little bit. brown saccard syndrome results from hemisection of the spinal cord. It is characterized by ipsilateral spastic paralysis due to corticospinal tract injury. Ipsilateral loss of tactile vibratory position sensation, this is the dorsal columns, and contralateral loss of pain and temperature sensation, the spinothalamic tract, below the level of injury. Thiazolidinolidones, if I'm pronouncing it right, or TZDs, lower blood cholesterol by decreasing insulin resistance. TZDs activate peroxome, peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma, a nuclear receptor that alters the transcription of genes involved in glucose and lipid metabolism. Elevated serum aldosterone levels can manifest with hypertension, hypokalemia, and muscle weakness. Increased levels of both renin and aldosterone are indicative of secondary hyperaldosteronism, which can be caused by renovascular disease and renin-secreting tumors. That was elevated serum aldosterone levels. Remember it can cause hypertension, hypokalemia, and muscle weakness. Most patients with diabetic ketoacidosis have normal to increased serum potassium levels despite a total body potassium deficit. Replacement of potassium is a crucial step in the management of patients with diabetic ketoacidosis. So remember that most patients with GKA have normal to increased serum potassium levels. Suppression of endogenous flora, colonization of the distal urethra by pathogenic gram-negative rods, and attachment of these pathogens to the bladder mucosa are the stages of pathogenesis in lower urinary tract infections. Anatomic or functional vesicourethral reflux is almost always necessary for the development of acute pyelonephritis. Supplemental oxygen administration in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease can lead to increased CO2 retention, oxygen-induced hypercapnia, resulting in confusion and depressed consciousness. The major cause is reversal of hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction, which increases physiologic dead space as blood is shunted away from well ventilated alveoli. Achalasia is caused by reduced numbers of inhibitory ganglion cells in the esophageal wall. Esophageal 
manometry in achalasia shows decreased amplitude of peristalsis in the mid-esophagus with increased tone and incomplete relaxation at the lower esophageal sphincter. So remember that there is increased tone and incomplete relaxation at the lower esophageal sphincter. Chromaffin cells are modified neuroendocrine cells derived from the neural crest. Chromaffin cells in the adrenal medulla are stimulated by acetylcholine released by sympathetic preganglionic neurons and secrete catecholamines directly into the bloodstream to amplify sympathetic nervous system activity. A left shift of the hemoglobin oxygen disassociation curve indicates increased hemoglobin oxygen affinity and can be caused by increased pH, decreased 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate, and decreased temperature. Leftward shifts of the curve inhibit the release of O2 within peripheral tissues. Ruptured ectopic pregnancy can cause abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding, and hemodynamic instability. Pelvic inflammatory disease is most commonly caused by Neisseria gonorrhea or Chlamydia trachomatis and significantly increases the risk of ectopic pregnancy. Quick clinical tests to assess attention and concentration include counting down from 100 by intervals of 3 or 7, reciting the months of the year in reverse order, or spelling world backwards. When patients are unable to make their wishes known and there is no written documentation of them, the responsibility for medical decision making falls to their designated health care proxy. If a patient has not designated a surrogate decision maker, medical decisions default to the next of kin. In the case of a married person, the next of kin is usually the spouse. Caused by the gram positive actinomycete. Tropoma whipelli. Whipple disease is a rare systemic illness that involves the small intestine, joints, and central nervous system. Classic histologic findings include small intestine mucosa containing enlarged foamy macrophages packed with both rod shaped bacilli and PAS positive diastase resistant granules. Interleukin-2 is produced by helper T-cells and stimulates the growth of CD4 and CD8 T-cells and B-cells. Interleukin-2 also activates natural killer cells and monocytes. The increased activity of T-cells and natural killer cells is thought to be responsible for interleukin-2's anti-cancer effect on metastatic melanoma and renal cell carcinoma. CD8 cells recognize foreign antigens presented with MHC class 1 proteins. Each MHC class 1 molecule consists of a heavy chain and a beta 2 microglobulin. The net filtration pressure is calculated by the following equation. Net filtration pressure, pressure equals PC minus PI minus... I cannot read it. <laughs> Just know the net filtration pressure. Look it up. Okay, moving on. 
Hypovolemia due to loss of sodium and or water causes increased concentration of red blood cells, for example, hematocrit and albumin, as both of these blood components are trapped within the intravascular space. Hypovolemia also triggers increased absorption of uric acid in the proximal renal tubule, resulting in an increased serum uric acid level. The cumulative incidence of a disease is the number of new cases of a disease over a specific period divided by the total population at risk at the beginning of the study. For example, the proportion of at-risk individuals who contract the disease over a specified period. Neurofibromatosis type 1 of von Recklinghausen disease is an autosomal dominant disorder caused by mutations in the NF1 tumor suppressor gene. Patients characteristically develop numerous cutaneous neurofibromas composed mostly of Schwann cells, which are embryologically derived from the neural crest. Homocystinuria is most commonly caused by a defect in cystothionine synthase, resulting in an inability to form cysteine from homocysteine. Cysteine becomes essential in affected patients, and homocysteine buildup leads to elevated methionine. Homocysteine is prothrombotic, resulting in premature thromboembolic events, for example, atherosclerosis, acute coronary syndrome in these patients. Interferons alpha and beta are produced by most human cells in response to viral infections. The production of alpha and beta interferons helps suppress viral replication by halting protein synthesis and promoting apoptosis of infected cells, limiting the ability of viruses to spread through the tissues. Fragile X syndrome is caused by an increased number of CGG trinucleotide repeats on the fragile X mental retardation 1, FMR1 gene, on the long arm of the X chromosome. This leads to hypermethylation and inactivation of FMR1. A developmental field defect describes multiple malformations that occur secondary to an embryonic disturbance in an adjoining group of cells. Holoprosencephaly is a developmental field defect characterized by a spectrum of fetal anomalies due to incomplete division of the forebrain or the prosencephalon. Risk is the probability of developing a disease over a certain period of time. To calculate this probability, divide the number of affected subjects by the total number of subjects in the corresponding exposure group. Langerhan cells are dendritic cells found in the skin and act as professional antigen-presenting cells. These cells are derived from the myeloid cell line and they possess characteristic racket-shaped intracytoplasmic granules known as Burbeck granules. Post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis is an immune complex mediated disease that occurs two to four weeks after group A beta hemolytic streptococcus infection. Immune complexes composed of IgG, IgM and C3 are deposited along the glomerular basement membrane and are visible on electron microscopy as large dome-shaped subepithelial electron-dense deposits. The thyroid gland is formed from invagination of the pharyngeal epithelium and descends to the lower neck. Due to failure of migration, the thyroid can reside anywhere along the thyroglossal duct's usual path, including the tongue, which is called lingual thyroid.
Celiac disease or gluten sensitive enteropathy classically presents between the age of 6 to 24 months with abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, and weight loss. Duodenal biopsy reveals crypt hyperplasia, villus atrophy, and intraepithelial lymphocyte infiltration. Treatment with a gluten free diet resolves the symptoms and normalizes serology and histology. Communicating hydrocells and indirect inguinal hernias are caused by an incomplete obliteration of the processus vaginalis. The resultant connection between the scrotum and the abdominal cavity can allow for fluid leakage, which is called a hydrocell, or the passage of the abdominal contents, which is an indirect inguinal hernia. Remember that the spleen is a large wedge-shaped lymphatic organ that is situated in the posterior superior portion of the left abdominal cavity. It is derived from mesoderm in the dorsal mesentery during embryonic development. Stellate cells are the primary cells involved in hepatic fibrosis. In response to hepatic injury, the stellate cells are activated and transform into myel fibroblasts capable of proliferating, promoting chemotaxis and producing large quantities of collagen. Collagen stains blue with mason trichome stain. The standard deviation reflects the spread of individual values in a normal distribution. For example, it meaning that it measures the variability of the observations with a, within a single sample. The standard error of the mean means the variability of means, for example, variance between the means of different samples, and helps estimate the true mean of the underlying population. Northern blots detect target mRNA in a sample and can be used to assess the degree of gene transcription. Remember, northern blots and mRNA.